How much money did I make from making money simple in 2021? In this video, I'm gonna be going through all the different income streams and pots of money that I made from making money simple. I'll do a run in total along the bottom somewhere. So let's get straight into it. But before we start, actually, a few caveats. The first one is that none of this, obviously, is financial advice. The second one is that all of these numbers are before tax. They're just the top line or the revenue number. All of this money is earned for, or most of this money, sorry, is earned for a company. So I then need to pay corporation tax. But if I then want to actually access any of that money, I then need to pay personal taxes like income tax, national insurance, student loan. So really, my marginal tax rate is nearly 50%. Please. So I don't really plan on touching any of the money in the company just because the tax is so high and it's not very tax efficient. And that is because obviously I do make your money simple on the side and have a day job, which is why my marginal tax rate is then so high as I need to pay corporation tax and then all of those personal taxes that I mentioned. The third one, going through these numbers and these different income streams isn't to boast or to flex or anything like that. It's just to be open, honest, transparent. Um, I always enjoy watching these videos, people going through their income, their investments, that sort of thing. So I wanted to make my own version. It's also will be quite good to look back over the years if I do this yearly, seeing hopefully how it grows over time. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or YouTube or really any platform, I'm very transparent with what I invest, how much I invest, what I invest into. So this is just sort of continuing that transparency by sharing how much money Making Money Simple has made in 2021. And hopefully by going through the different income streams, you can then get an idea of some potential income streams, what sort of money you can expect from them, and so on. The fourth one, obviously a bit of a trigger warning, I'm gonna be talking about money here. Um, I know with COVID, people have lost their jobs and had bad years the last couple of years um, so if you think anything here is going to upset you or make you angry please don't watch the video it's not aimed to do that at all as I mentioned it's just to sort of share how much money I'm making and to be transparent um, so yeah just saying that now before we start getting into the numbers and number five the final caveat is that this has taken years and years to build up I've now been doing making money simple for three years the first two years I pretty much didn't make a penny other than the odd free share um, I've got 700 plus posts on Instagram hundreds of TikToks, 30 plus YouTube videos, a podcast, I've featured on other people's podcasts. This has probably at this point been thousands of hours um, of replying to comments, replying to DMs, trying to help people. And it's really now only in my third year that I've actually started making some decent money, as hopefully we'll see in a minute. Um, so it isn't overnight. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You obviously, when it comes to side hustles, there's a lot of things you can do. My approach has essentially been to build a brand, which is making money simple, and then all the associated income streams essentially come off of that. Now, that was a bit of a long intro, but now that's all out of the way. I'm gonna go through all of the money that is related to making money simple. Some of this money is earned in my own name, mainly the sort of free shares from investment platforms and free crypto from crypto platforms, but it all essentially relates to or comes in because of making money simple. This is just going to be my income or my revenue if you do want to see all of my expenses in the year that the company has incurred let me know i can make a video on that i'll be more than happy to do that as well there is eight income streams i'm going to go through that all relate to making money simple they say that a millionaire has seven income streams i've got eight here and i'll tell you now i'm nowhere near a millionaire <laughs> but hopefully obviously over time these will build up and one day be paying me a lot more than they are right now. I'm gonna start from smallest to largest, and the first one is Amazon Affiliates. The total of this is £43.19, a relatively small sum of money, but it's quite easy to make money through this. I read a lot of books, and if I have a book that I like, I'll often share it on my Instagram story. There's also links in the description if you wanna to go to my Amazon storefront to see which books I recommend. If anyone then buys something through that link, I think like a small commission, like two or three percent, something like that. Obviously, it's only 43 pound. It's not a massive um, number, but I haven't really got to do anything. I'm buying and reading books every week anyway. Um, so yeah, a little bit of extra money just from recommending books and stuff that I like. It's probably a lot more lucrative if you start recommending expensive equipment and gear, but I essentially mainly just use Amazon affiliates just to recommend books. The second one is TikTok. Uh, I'm part of the TikTok Creator Fund, which is where they pay you uh, for getting views. This total for the whole year is 52 pound 11p. So as you can see, once again, a very small income stream. TikTok pay absolute peanuts compared to um, YouTube. Some of my TikToks this year have got hundreds of thousands of views and even then you'll still only earn a couple of quid from it. 
Um, I've actually also not made a TikTok in about two months. I don't think I've done one since the end of October, start of November. So I need to get back into it more. But with TikTok, it's one of those things where I want to be making content anyway to help people understand investing, to promote myself and making money simple. So the fact that I'm in the creator fund and can earn 52 pound, you know, once again, just like Amazon affiliates, it's something I'd be doing anyway. I'd be reading books anyway buying them from Amazon. I'll be making TikToks anyway. So to get a bit of extra money on the side, I'll obviously take it. The third one is Instagram. So Instagram introduced this feature this year called Badges, where essentially, if you do stuff usually relating to Instagram Lives, Instagram then pay you. So I completed one badge this year and I got $100, which is about 77 pounds. Um, I could have done more. There was different sort of levels. The first one was $100. There was then I think $150 one was the next badge and then also a $250 one. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Instagram lives. I don't do them very often. I tried it out, got $100 and that was it. So that's an extra 77 pound to add to this pot so far. And that is the third income stream. The fourth one is then coaching calls. So this is something I don't think I've ever advertised or promoted on any social media. But if you do click the link in my bio and go right to the bottom, you can book in a one-to-one -one coaching call with me. I've done two this year. Um, both went quite well actually. Both were with like 18, 19 year olds who just wanted to start investing. I helped them with that. I had some chat about opening up credit cards, property, um, loads of sort of personal finance and investing stuff. Um, they always run over, they're always longer than an hour. Um, but yeah, it's something to sort of done on the side. Never really promoted it, I also probably won't push it too much. Um, but yeah, once again, an extra 98 pound and that's the fourth income stream. The fifth one is then live workshops, or I should really say live workshop. I only done one this year. Um, it was essentially called how to start investing in 2021 and beyond, something like that. The first half of the workshop goes through some beginner investing stuff. Um, the second half of the workshop then went through Vanguard's website, how to open up an account, how to figure out the fees you're gonna pay. I also went through three different funds and analyzed some funds for people um, who are watching it. I've done it through Google Meet. There was 14 people um, that attended it and in total I got £141.68p after all of the fees. That was the money I actually got in my bank account. Once again, just like the coaching calls, I did quite enjoy doing this. I sort of done it last minute. I think I started promoting it on Thursday and then done it Sunday morning. Um, so to get 14 people, I was happy with that. I think that was around April or May time. It was fairly early on in the year. I was then going to do one um, on crypto as well because I used to get loads of questions about that, although I didn't. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try and do another live workshop in the future. Um, but yeah, so that's the first five income streams in total. They're all relatively small. I mean, the total of those five is £411. So it's not massive money. It's obviously not life-changing money. But really, they're all sort of things that I would be doing anyway. So Amazon affiliates, TikTok, Instagram are all things I do anyway. Um, coaching calls, I never really promoted it or pushed it. So I didn't really expect anyone to book in. So the fact that I've done two, I'm happy with that as well. And in the live workshop, I did enjoy doing that. And I also, as we're going to see in a minute, did then turn that into a digital product, which makes me passive income, um, which I'm gonna get into shortly. That's the first five that we've gone through. Six, seven, and eight now is where the numbers start getting a bit bigger. And number six is affiliate referrals. So this is essentially um, referrals to investment platforms and crypto platforms. So the investment platforms being free trade, trading two on two, and stake, and the crypto platforms being crypto.com and Coinbase. So I've actually got a little breakdown here. Um, I do try and track these things throughout the year just so I sort of know roughly how much I'm making from these. So when it comes to affiliate referrals, when it comes to investment platforms, stock market investment platforms, the biggest one by far was free trade, where I made just over a grand. Um, trading to on two and stake were a bit smaller than that. Trading to on two, I still don't think are accepting customers. Um, and stake is an Australian platform that's available to um, people in the UK and Australia. When a new platform does come out, I do normally open up an account um, just to test it out, put a bit of money on there. Um, so yeah, if you do want to sign up to any of those three platforms, the links are always in my description um, and also linked in my bio on Instagram um, and you and me can both get a free share. But yeah, the crypto platforms then are Coinbase and Crypto.com. So Crypto.com is the biggest one out of those two by far. In pounds, I've made just over one and a half thousand pound from Crypto.com referrals. Um, I regularly make Crypto.com videos. I use their debit card or their Visa card or their prepaid card, whatever you want to call it. I also use their staking feature. I use it to buy crypto, mainly Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'm a massive fan of their um, platform. With Crypto.com as well, 
the affiliate program is almost a bit of a no-brainer because if you use my link, we both get $25 and you've not even got to deposit anything on the platform. With the invest stock market investment platforms, you normally have to deposit an amount of money. It's normally quite small, between one and five pound to get the free share. Um, but with yeah, crypto.com, you just sign up and you get $25 for free, regardless of whether or not you actually put any money yourself onto the platform. And also then made a small money from Coinbase as well. Um, so I was using Coinbase Pro early on in the year until I started using crypto.com to buy crypto from the summer onwards. So yeah, in total for affiliate referrals, that is £3,136. I think I already mentioned that. Um, but all of that money as well was earned in my own personal name. It doesn't go through the company bank account. It just goes through these investment apps and then it increases my balance, um, which ultimately is good for me because then it sort of grosses up my investment portfolio over time. The seventh income stream, and now this is now nearly double the size of the last one is digital product sales which totals £6,185. I also have um, about 80 quid just sitting in my PayPal account so I'll put a total on the screen somewhere but it's around £6,250. Um, throughout the year I have been creating and selling product for the first ever time. In the first two years as I mentioned um, I probably didn't make a penny um, other than some affiliate free shares and that was largely because I didn't really do any brand partnerships which I'm going to get on to next and I also didn't sell any digital products. In 2021 I released a spreadsheet in about May, uh, it's an investment portfolio tracker, the one that I use myself and have been using for years. I then released, as I mentioned, the live workshop, I then turned that into a digital product and that is now available for sale. You can have the video to keep and watch back as much as you want, as well as the slides that came with it. And then the third product was Stop Waiting, Start Investing, my brand new ebook, which pretty much took me all year to write and that came out in October. Um, and yeah, I've had loads of good feedback about all of the products really. But yeah, Stop Waiting, Start Investing is the brand new ebook going through exactly, essentially what I preach through all my different social medias, how to start investing, how to choose an account, how to choose a platform, how to choose a fund, why I use global funds, compound interest, diversification, dollar cost averaging, pretty much everything you need to know about investing. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. Whether you are a complete beginner or are already investing, I just want to make sure what you're doing is going about it the right way. Um, but between those three products, £6,250 roughly. Um, I've got my dashboard up, so I sell these through Payhip, um, most of that income has come from Stop Waiting Start Investing and the MMS Investment Portfolio Tracker and I've also made some sales of the workshop and I've got a couple of bundles where I group products together which also have some sales. Um, so yeah, I use Payhip to sell them, they essentially take a small cut, I think it's about 2% or 5% and then PayPal and Stripe, the payment processors, also then take probably about 4%. So that's the great thing about selling digital products. Um, the profit margin is pretty much 90%, obviously before tax. I'll need to pay corporation tax, and then if I then want to get that money in my own name, any personal taxes like income tax, NI, student loan, but the actual products themselves are like a 90% profit margin before tax. So that's what I was saying about a sort of long-term outlook, not building this up overnight, two years of making content, and then only in this third year, I've started making products, and now hopefully these products can keep making sales, trickling in week after week for years to come, um, but yeah, that is the second largest income stream. So now we're gonna go on to income stream number eight, and that is brand deal sponsorships, whatever you wanna call it. So brand deals, brand sponsorships, product sponsorships, whatever you wanna call it, the total of that one is 11,692 pound 57 pence. So that is my biggest income stream by far, and that is once again nearly double the digital product sale. So the affiliate referrals have doubled to the digital product sales, and then the digital product sales have doubled to the brand deals. I won't go into like too much detail into how much each brand pays me, but over the course of the year, I've done a various brand partnerships, um, Chip, Wealthify, Wombat, Crypto.com, um, mainly primarily investment platforms and crypto platforms. I've also done a few other ones as well. And yeah, I do enjoy doing those. They are often quite a bit more work than you'd expect because someone reaches out to you, you then go back and forth trying to finalize whatever the brief is, you then send draft versions over, usually a video or some sort of post, they then come back with feedback. So it can be a lot of back and forth, um, but ultimately, if you're promoting something that you use, that you like, that you think is good for people, um, then I think it's a good thing. And yeah, in total, that has got me £11,692. Um, so that has been very good in 2021. So in total then, unless you've been keeping a running total on your own calculator, that gives me £21,426.50. 
38 pence in total in making money simple income in 2021. <gasps> Obviously, it's a bit staggering. It's quite a lot of money, to be honest with you, for anyone. When the average salary in the UK is about 25, 30 grand, um, the fact that I've made 21 grand um, in one year through this side hustle, um, I'm very happy with it. It's very good. I think in the first two years, um, it was a bit more on and off, whereas this year I've proper focused on it. I sort of went in, went really hard on it, particularly when I was in lockdown, had a lot more free time. I was able to focus on it a lot more. And then it's nice to see that it's um, reflected financially. Obviously, I don't really do it for the money. I do it because I enjoy it. But the fact that I have got money and then hopefully over time, this can become more of a full-time thing will be the ultimate aim of it. Um, of course, one thing to say, and one thing I don't track is the hours I actually put into making money simple. It does take a lot of hours. It's essentially, even though I call it a side hustle, um, it's essentially a second full-time job. Um, there's probably even some weeks where I put more hours into this than my full-time job. Um, you know, editing YouTube videos, making and editing YouTube videos, making and editing podcasts, daily Instagram posts. TikTok's been a bit lackluster the couple the last couple of months, but I often go through weeks where I'm on that constantly. Twitter, making products, replying to DMs. I get dozens of DMs per day and I pretty much reply to every single one. Um, so it would be quite interesting if I could see how many hours I've put into this to then work out my hourly rate of pay. Um, but I don't. I imagine my hourly rate of pay would actually probably be quite low. I mean, if I just quickly do it now, actually, just while this is recording. So if you say an average working week in the UK is 35 hours, and then just say you get four weeks holiday, 35 hours per week times 48 weeks, that gives you 1,680 hours. If I then divide that by the total revenue of just over 21K, that then gives me £12.75. So if I was doing a rough uh, calculation of how much I'm getting paid per hour, um, it is £12.75. Which, to be honest with you, even though the total top line 21,000 is brilliant. That hourly rate of pay isn't brilliant and I probably get paid um, more in my day job working as an accountant rather than I do through this. But a couple of things to say there. I obviously enjoy this. This is good fun. I would be reading and researching and investing anyway. So I'm essentially just sharing what I do. Um, also, this is more scalable. So those digital products that I've made, I can now hopefully sell for years to come. I can hopefully release more digital products over time. Um, the brand deals, I'm building relationships with brands. Hopefully over time, more and more brands will then work with me. So then that can once again increase the money I'm earning, increase, I guess, my brand and the profile. Some of the smaller income streams like Amazon affiliates, TikTok, Instagram, coaching calls, I'm not expecting those to be massive going forward. I think the biggest free income streams are probably always gonna be my own products, um, affiliate referrals, and then brand partnerships. But hopefully over time, all of these can then grow and scale into larger numbers. Um, and ultimately, hopefully one day, I'll make more money than my day job, which is probably quite a while off still. Um, but yeah, that's all my thoughts on that. It's all sort of been unscripted, going through the different income streams and then sort of seeing how much money I've made and then working out my hourly rate of pay. But yeah, overall, I think Making Money Simple has had a good year. I'm now monetized on YouTube, finally. Um, it's not gone through yet, but hopefully in 2022, that'll then be a ninth income stream. Um, my Instagram has grown to 40K. My TikTok is nearly at 40K. So I think overall, the projection is going up. But yeah, that is how much money Making Money Simple has made in 2021. Most of this goes through the company, but the affiliate referrals do go through my own name, as I mentioned, to sort of gross up my investment um, portfolio or pots. Um, through the different platforms that I do use. Also just a reminder of some of the caveats at the start, this isn't financial advice, this is all before tax. Um, I'm not trying to boast or flex, just trying to be transparent. Um, I hope I haven't upset anyone by sort of talking about these numbers candidly. Um, and it has taken years to build up, it's not been overnight or even in a few months. It's literally three entire years. Hundreds of videos, Instagram posts, TikToks, podcasts, YouTube videos, all those different things. Um, but yeah, if you do wanna check out any of my products, I'll plug them here at the end. Click the first link in my description. Um, that'll hopefully help you out. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully there'll be a video per week coming in 2022. So subscribe so you don't miss any videos next year and turn on the notification bell as well. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video.